Good morning and welcome to our meeting today. On this first Sunday in April, which of course is Palm Sunday. You are highly welcome. Let's greet each other, shall we, this morning. So if you're a messenger of grace, shout right now one thunderous hallelujah. If you're a messenger of the kingdom, I would love to hear you shout two mighty hallelujahs. Now let's greet all of us who are part of the OTC family and community. Let's greet ourselves, shall we? Let's welcome ourselves this morning to worship with three powerful shouts of hallelujah to the glory of God. Halle, halle, hallelujah. Now let us commence our by listening to some verses from Psalm 118. Wonderful psalm for Palm Sunday. It's a psalm of thanksgiving for uh, triumphs. One, it's a psalm of thanksgiving for God's mercy and his love. And it's a psalm asking for more blessings from God in the future. Let's continue in our worship now as we listen to verses from Psalm 100 being read. Psalm 118 from verse 18. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over in death. Open for me the gates of the righteous, I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks, for you have answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this, is this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Lord save us. Lord grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. For the house of the Lord we bless you, the Lord is God, and he has made his light shine on us. We thought in hand, join in the, in the festival procession up to the born horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord for his good, his love endures forever.
sing from song 366 from the Salvation Army Songbook. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name with hearts full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord my God. Let us pray. Let us pray this morning. Prayers of worship and of thanksgiving. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, let us pray for our world this morning. We are together suffering and struggling under the weight of this coronavirus pandemic. Open your mouths now and pray for, for our world. In the name of Jesus we pray. Pray for the Officers Training College. Pray for the Salvation Army here in Nigeria Territory. Pray for the Salvation Army all over the world. Open your mouths now and pray. In the name of Jesus. Of course we had hoped to be in a choir boom East Division this weekend, helping them celebrate Easter. But it's not to be in God's providence and according to His will. We, we are here today. But let us pray for the army in a choir boom East, the leadership, the corps, the comrades, everyone there. Open your mouths and pray. In the name of Jesus, let us pray this morning for a Palm Sunday triumph, even in our lives. 
a Palm Sunday triumph over all that would oppose us, stop us fulfilling God's will for our lives, halt us from living victoriously. Let's pray against these things. Let's pray for a Palm Sunday triumph in our lives. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus we pray. Now let us join together with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And Amen. How did you celebrate Palm Sunday in your court? Uh, in the village, uh, when I was in the village, we, we normally... Uh, on Sunday we go and, and, and cut the palm fruit into the church and uh, after the Sunday service we will share the we will share the palm the palm the palm that goes to the people to take to their houses that is how it normally happens in the village yeah. how did you celebrate Palm Sunday in your home court in my home court during Palm Sunday we 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 decorate the place with palm fronds and then sometimes we go out very early in the morning for open air and then we sing songs, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, songs like that. We make awareness in the community, we come back and then we get our palm fronds small ones everybody will hold and then the bigger ones we use it to decorate the place then we celebrate um coming from a well-known church being the catholic church we, we always <laughs> show us uh, when it comes to palm sunday we go out we use the palm trees to decorate the church from the entrance of the gates to the entrance of the church door, then when we want to go for a procession, we normally use the palm tree to form a cross. We use it and go on a procession. And on our way, we use to show Jesus as the King, the coming Messiah. He's being celebrated on that day. So that is a well known day that we celebrate in the church. So, Cadet Mary Jane, your background is Catholic. So how did you celebrate Palm Sunday in your church? We celebrate it with palm fronts. Each person who comes to church with palm fronts. They use it to denote the time when Jesus entered into Jerusalem as he came. People were spreading clothes, palm branches. So this time around, we come to church with those days to symbolize we see in Francis to the Muslim as we use those from the to show that he's still the king. So they will bring it to the church. Everybody will submit to us to the church. Well, in my home call, how we celebrate Palm Sunday is um, we go out during the service. We, after a brief service in the call, we step out on the street with palms on our hands and celebrating the triumphant entry of Jesus Christ. So all the youths, the adults and the YPs who have palm in their hands, walking down the streets and jubilating and trying to dramatize the triumphant entry, after which we return back to the And do you, do you enjoy celebrating Palm Sunday and why? Mm. Growing up as a girl, I enjoy it because we normally 
show that Jesus is the coming Messiah. He reigns, so we celebrate him. We celebrate that day. It's almost like a Christmas day to us, in that the, the service, the holiness, uh, the mass of that day is always high. We call it high mass because it's well celebrated in the Catholic Church. So you enjoyed it? Yeah, I enjoy it. What I enjoy most about celebrating Palm Sunday, it's I feel very happy that I'm celebrating the the coming celebrating Christ it, uh, a week before his death it gives me joy and happiness that Christ came he died for us and all of that Amen. Amen. thank you well, what, I, what I enjoy about celebrating is um, uh, the fact that um, it was uh, um, it's a biblical thing and it was a, a, a time Jesus needed to show to the people that yes, this is the Messiah, the Messiah has come, this is the king, not the earthly king or the government kind of king you people want, but this is the king from heaven that has come to reign on earth. And uh, it's a biblical thing and I also enjoy the fact that we have to uh, bring it to people's understanding by going to the street and um, you, see, you, you see a youth or, or a young child being put on a donkey mm -hmm. to represent Jesus on the donkey riding on the streets. So is my king, who is Jesus, is being celebrated as his king, and that is the joy of it when he enters as the king of the whole world and he is being recognized as the king. Okay. It's about the, the Jesus Christ, our Lord, our. Yes, uh, it's all about Jesus Christ. And we got uh, as our Lord. As <laughs> so the first one is all about him. So you like it? Yeah, I like it very well because uh, our Savior and uh, we, uh, he's our focus. Uh. Uh -huh. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, we are now going to sing. Here is the risen song.
Bible this morning is taken from Luke Gospel chapter 19 from verses 28 to 40. I read, After Jesus has said this, he went on ahead, going to Jerusalem. As he approached Bethphage and Bethany, at the hill called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find a cold tight there, which no one has ever read in it. You untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Say, the Lord needs it. Those who were sent ahead went and found it just as he had told them. As they were untying the cult, its owners asked them, Why are you untying the cult? They replied, The Lord needs it. They brought it to Jesus, threw their clothes on the cult, and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their clothes on the road. When he came near the place where the road goes down the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to praise in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, he replied, if they keep Christ, the stones will cry out. It has been a week for us here at the Officers Training College. We had hoped that we would be in a choir from East Division even this weekend, commencing our Easter Revival campaign. And it's almost as if we've been kept quiet. We've, we have to be here. It's almost like we've been, to some extent, silenced. And this reminds me of the what happened, according to Luke, anyway, in his Gospel account, on, the, on, on Palm Sunday. The Pharisees were saying to Jesus, look, keep these people quiet. Will you, will you tell them to calm down? Enough of all this shouting too much noise tell them to be quiet and he said to the Pharisees look <laughs> if I told them to be quiet even the, the stones would speak in their place there's no way that there can be silence on a day like this and if I asked them to be quiet if I instructed them to be quiet well the stones would speak in their place and they would offer their praises to God so we may feel that we've been somewhat made to be quiet because of the coronavirus pandemic and we have to be here. But let us never, let us resolve in our hearts today that in the strength of the Lord we will never be silenced when it comes to speaking for the Lord Jesus. Let us resolve this day that ever on our lips, whenever we get opportunity, we will tell people, Jesus saves. Hosanna! With joy in our hearts. Let us, at every opportunity we get, resolve that if God will help us and be with us, we will always speak for him. Just a little bit before these, uh, this encounter which Jesus had with the Pharisees, we read of the collection of the, the donkey. And we're told that the disciples were, went, were, were sent ahead and they were to find this donkey which had never been ridden before. And so it seems that on this day, when Jesus started the climax of his ministry, which would end, this week would end in his death, death and resurrection, at the beginning, as he came into Jerusalem, he wanted something pure to ride upon. And I want this to be for you and for me, a challenge this day. Jesus, we can be of most use to Jesus. We can be of most impact and effect for him if we ourselves have a purity 
and a cleanness about us. So let us seek that this day, that work of grace in our lives. Let us seek to be pure. Let us seek to be Christ-like. Let us long with all our, with all our hearts to have Jesus make us holy. And then, for, it, for our own sake and for our own joy and for our own fulfillment, yes, but it's then that we can be of most effect, uh, but be most effective in our ministry. So speak for Jesus, won't you? Even if people are trying to to silence you, don't be among those. Be be, be like the stones. Be be ever ready to sh sh shout Hosanna and speak for the Lord Jesus. And let us do this from hearts which are cleansed, purified, and sanctified. Maybe so. In the name of Jesus. So let there just be a few moments of prayer now. Let's seek that power from God. That power to have within us that strength and that courage, that desire to be great advocates for him and the gospel. Seek that even in these moments. In the name of Jesus. And seek that deep cleansing. That completeness which only comes with an infilling of the Holy Spirit overwhelming us in every part of us. Oh God, we long for this more than anything else today. Hear our prayers. We know you will. For we make them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now you're not going to, you're not going to sing our last song. Say, Kavi Ossie, you are the king above all the heads. You are the king above.
Let us pray. Brothers and sisters, as we enter this holy week, let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. He will show us where we need to go. And now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>